Hey, what's up? It's James from Chinese Drama Land, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna list the top 10 Chinese historical costume Xianxia fantasy dramas that premiered in 2023 you should check out. Though not many great fantasy dramas premiered in 2023, there are still some hidden gems waiting to be discovered. From breathtaking visuals to captivating storylines and impressive CGI, these dramas offer a delightful viewing experience. I want to remind you guys, the dramas on this list appear in no particular order, so think of this as more of a curated recommendation list than a definitive ranking. If you go on to enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing and clicking on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. If you want to join my Discord server and chat with fellow Chinese drama enthusiasts, click the link in the description down below. With that being said, Let's get started with the video. Number 10. Snow Eagle Lord, starring Shu Kai and Gul Nazar. Snow Eagle Lord is a 40 episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name that has also been adapted into a popular anime series. Anyway, the drama tells the story of Dongbo Shui Ying, a boy raised in a small peaceful town whose peaceful life is disturbed when his mother gets arrested by a foreign tribe. Left with the responsibility of protecting his brother and rescuing his mother, Dongbo Shui Ying embarks on a journey fraught with danger and discovery, forging bonds of friendship and experiencing the tumult of love along the way. Shu Kai and Gol Nazar inhabit their roles with remarkable authenticity, infusing their characters with depth and nuance. While the drama's fight sequences, costumes, special effects, and overall visuals are okay and nothing special, it compensates with an intriguing narrative that tantalizes viewers with its elements of chaos and mystery. Although the script may lack the solidity needed for a truly compelling watch, the drama's other facets coalesce to create an engaging, albeit occasionally frustrating, viewing experience. Number 9. The Last Immortal, starring Zhao Lu Si and Wang Anyu. The Last Immortal is a 40 episode drama that serves as a sequel to the 2021 costume Xianxia fantasy romance drama Ancient Love Poetry that starred Shu Kai and Zhou Dongyu. The Last Immortal weaves an inspirational tale set in a world where Feng Yin, a diligent Xuanning beast, crosses paths with Gu Jin, the son of true god Bai Jue, whose magical powers have been sealed. Their fateful encounter sets them on a remarkable journey in search of Feng Yin's immortal essence. Alongside their loyal friends, including Hong Yi, a fox from the Demon Clan, and Yan Chuang, the princess of the Eagle Clan, they brave countless challenges and adversaries in their quest to reclaim Feng Yin's immortal essence. Zhao Lu Si is fantastic in her portrayal of Ah Yin, her joys, the longing in her eyes, and her sorrows. She radiates power and elegance as she plays the bold and strong-willed but empathetic and sweet-natured Empress Phoenix. The acting from the entire cast is okay displaying the anguish and desperation of their characters exceptionally well and enriching the quality of the scenes. From the delivery of their lines to their facial expressions, they leave very little room for disappointment, despite his lack of experience in costume dramas, since this is his second costume drama. Wang Anyu maintains the pace of his co-stars and matches their energy very well. Though The Last Immortal boasts average special effects, nothing extraordinary and follows a typical Xianxia plot, it is the depth of its characters and their relationships that imbue the story with warmth and charm. It's a lovely story about friendship, love, and essentially learning to truly live and cherish life. Zhao Lu Si and Wang An Yu share delightful chemistry, endearing them to viewers as a captivating couple. However, viewers should be prepared for the familiarity of Xianxia tropes, which may render some scenes and plot points predictable, evoking a sense of deja vu. Number 8. The Longest Promise starring Xiao Zhan and Ren Min. The Longest Promise is a 40-episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name, and it's a prequel to the 2022 costume fantasy romance drama Mirror, A Tale of Twin Cities, that starred Li Yifeng and Yuki Chen. The Longest Promise takes place in Kongsang Continent and revolves around the tumultuous love story between Xi Ying and Zhu Yan. Xi Ying, a prince of Kongsang Continent, gets banished to the mountain to cultivate after his mother is unjustly framed. Originally focused on nothing but cultivation, Shi Ying begins to develop romantic feelings for Zhu Yan, his disciple, who is also the princess of the Qi Yi tribe. 
Shi Ying and Ju Yan don't voice out their feelings due to their teacher-student relationship as their love is forbidden. They later find themselves standing on opposite sides in the fight for political struggle and undergo life and death situations together. They eventually put aside their issues and work together hand in hand to protect Kongsang continent. The longest promise boasts an outstanding and popular cast, and their talent is undeniable in their portrayals of their characters, and they come together to give us memorable performances. Ren Min, who plays the female lead, occasionally becomes overshadowed by her more experienced female co-stars, but she does a great job of bringing her character to life. The quality of the CGI is splendid and works to enhance the quality of the fight scenes. The setting is beautiful, and the cinematography is even more so, sure to leave you awestruck with each episode. The drama starts slow, but its promise of unpredictable twists and turns is one to hold on to because it pays off as the drama progresses. While the drama's initial pacing may be slow, its narrative unfolds with promise, offering unexpected twists and turns that reward patient viewers. However, those anticipating a focus on romance may find themselves disappointed as the slow burn dynamic between the leads fails to ignite significant chemistry. Additionally, the portrayal of supporting romances may leave much to be desired, characterized by either promising setups that fall short or underwhelming developments. Number 7. Love You Seven Times, starring Ryan Ding and Yang Chao Yu. Love You Seven Times is a 38-episode drama that tells the story of Xiang Yun, a girl who was originally a cloud turned into a fairy by Yue Lao, the god of marriage and love in Chinese mythology. Xiang Yun volunteered to help her master find immortal Chu Kong, the god of war, a marriage partner, but later got caught auctioning his marriage. Whilst quarreling with Xiang Yun one time, they unintentionally messed up Yue Lao's red thread, leading to a complex entanglement spanning several lifetimes. Yet their fate extends even further back to a memory neither of them possesses. Love You Seven Times dazzles viewers with its breathtaking visuals and impressive CGI, which give it an almost unparalleled cinematography. The palpable chemistry between the main leads, portrayed effortlessly by Ryan Ding and Yang Chao Yu, ignites a romance that is both heartwarming and enchanting. As their relationship blossoms, their playful banter adds a delightful lightheartedness to the narrative, leaving audiences charmed by their on-screen dynamic. The drama's meticulous attention to detail in costume, hair, and makeup further enhances its visual appeal, with each ensemble contributing to the character's depth and intrigue. Amidst its captivating visuals and enchanting romance, Love You Seven Times delivers a story of profound depth and emotional resonance. Each member of the cast shines in their respective roles, enriching the narrative with their stellar performances, accompanied by a captivating soundtrack that complements its splendor. This drama transcends its cliché counterparts, standing out as a must-watch despite its unconventional storytelling approach. Number 6. I Am Nobody Season 1 Starring Peng Yu Chang, Neo Ho, and Wang Yi Lu. I Am Nobody Season 1 is a 27-episode drama adapted from the webcomic Under One Person, and it tells the story of Zhang Chulan, a regular young man who finds himself thrust into a world of outsiders after his grandfather's body disappears mysteriously. Pursued by the Sinister Pleasure Organization and encountering Feng Baobao, a mysterious girl, he decides to embrace his superpowers rather than hide them. Delving into his grandfather's past reveals a world of martial arts and hidden histories. As he learns about the eight supreme skills coveted by various martial arts groups, he meets Wang Ye, a master of one of these skills. Wang Ye warns him of the weight of his fate and tries to dissuade him from claiming the tournament's reward. Meanwhile, Feng Baobao's origins hold the key to a shocking secret. Joined by other young outsiders, they face challenges and form bonds while navigating the battle between good and evil. Each character seeks their own sense of justice as they grow and confront the looming conflict. This drama is the only modern drama that managed to make it to the list because of its unique storyline. Anyway, I Am Nobody stands out as a unique blend of modern fantasy and wuxia elements offering viewers an experimental yet exhilarating viewing experience. The risk of combining these genres pays off handsomely, delivering a narrative that is both engaging and captivating. The diverse cast, ranging from seasoned veterans to emerging talents, delivers commendable performances despite occasional inconsistencies among some of the stars. Each character is imbued with depth and nuance as the actors skillfully portray their desires, motivations, and emotions. 
Navigating through the labyrinthine plot requires viewers' keen attention to detail to avoid confusion, as the storyline unfolds with unexpected twists and turns. Amidst the drama's intensity, moments of levity provide welcome relief, with comedic senses seamlessly woven into the narrative. However, the tone shifts seamlessly when the action-packed fight scenes erupt, showcasing electrifying choreography and adrenaline-pumping energy. While the CGI might appear excessive at times, it effectively enhances the intensity of the battle sequences, showcasing the director's expertise and actor's dedication. Before we delve further into the video, I want to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude for your unwavering support. If you're enjoying the video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for notifications. If you'd like to support me, consider giving this video a super thanks. It's the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. Alternatively, you can support me on Ko-Fi by contributing a monthly amount of $3 or more, and by doing so, you'll unlock exclusive perks, including recaps, the ability to make content requests, and the opportunity to have your questions answered in one of my videos. I'll leave the link to my Ko-Fi page in the description below. Number 5. Till the End of the Moon, starring Luo Yunxi and Bai Lu. Till the End of the Moon is a 40-episode drama adapted from the novel Black Moonlight Holds the BE Script, and it tells the story of the daughter of a powerful sect leader who ultimately sacrifices herself to rewrite history and the future in a desperate state of wanting to save the world from the clutches of the Demon Lord. So she gets sent 500 years into the past to prevent the Demon Lord from turning into his cruel and bloodthirsty demon persona. Screenwriters He Fang and Luo Shan masterfully craft a tale of love and angst, weaving together elements of romance and fantasy with skillful precision. Till the end of the moon mesmerizes audiences from start to finish, boasting impressive CGI and commendable performances that ensure there is never a dull moment. Director Kuk Kok Long and the cameraman collaborate seamlessly to create visually stunning sequences that immerse viewers in the drama's rich and captivating world. Despite occasional spasmatic editing, the story unfolds beautifully, drawing viewers deeper into its intricate web of emotions and intrigue. The exceptional acting, characterized by undeniable chemistry among the cast, brings the main characters to life with remarkable depth and authenticity. From the strong and magnetic female lead to the enigmatic and cold-blooded male lead, each character is skillfully portrayed, eliciting empathy and fascination from the audience. Beyond its surface, Till the End of the Moon delves into profound philosophical themes, inviting viewers to contemplate the complexities of life and destiny. Amidst themes of romance, jealousy, sacrifice, and betrayal, the drama serves as a thought-provoking exploration of human nature and the power of love. Prepare to be captivated by the journey of these star-crossed lovers as they navigate the tumultuous currents of fate and destiny. Till the end of the moon promises an unforgettable viewing experience filled with heart-wrenching drama and poignant moments of reflection. Number 4. Back from the Brink, starring Nio Ho and Zhou Ye. Back from the Brink is a 40-episode drama adapted from the novel Hu Xin, and it follows the story of Tian Yao, an ancient dragon who suffers betrayal and grave injury from his lover. His lover dismembers him, strips him of his dragon scales, and seals his body parts in five different places. However, Tian Yao's soul manages to escape. Upon rebirth, he meets Yan Hui, a girl who pledges to protect him as he searches for his missing bones. Tan Yao discovers a seal in a lake and sees an opportunity to reclaim his lost body parts. With Yan Hui's possession of his heart protection scale, he utilizes her help in retrieving his stolen body parts. Despite Yan Hui's initial attempt to escape, their relationship grows deeper as she admires Tian Yao's admiration for her efforts and the strong bond they develop. As the story progresses, mysteries unfold, particularly surrounding Yan Hui's true origin, adding layers of intrigue to the narrative. Back from the Brink's narrative is enriched by layers of intrigue and unexpected twists. One of the drama's standout features is its stellar cast, whose astonishing visuals and compelling performances breathe life into the story. While occasional awkward moments between the leads are noticeable, they are overshadowed by the overall chemistry and depth of their portrayals. Zhou Ye shines as the fiery and intelligent Yan Hui, while Nio Ho delivers a captivating performance as Tian Yao, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Supporting cast members, including Riley Wong, who plays the second male lead, also leave a lasting impression with their remarkable performances. His acting is sure to give you second lead syndrome. The chemistry between Neil Ho and Zhou Ye is palpable, 
adding depth and emotion to their on-screen relationship. Visually stunning costumes and meticulous attention to character development further enhance the drama's appeal, creating a rich and immersive viewing experience. While the adaptation may deviate from the original novel's narrative, introducing filler scenes that affect its pacing, Back from the Brink ultimately triumphs with its compelling storyline and compelling characters. For fans of fantasy and romance, Back from the Brink promises an exhilarating journey filled with suspense, emotion, and unexpected twists at every turn. Number 3. The Starry Love, starring Chun Xing Xu and Li Lan Di. The Starry Love is a 40 episode drama that marks the third installment of the Honey Trilogy, following the success of Ashes of Love and Skate into Love. While these dramas aren't interconnected plot wise, they share a common thematic thread of love. The Honey Trilogy is characterized by aesthetically pleasing visuals and a compelling script by Ma Jia. Anyway, the Starry Love is adapted from the novel of the same name, and it unfolds a tale of two princesses, one virtuous and the other devious. Qing Kui, who is the elder sister to Ye Tan, who is gentle and kind, gets betrothed to the immortal tribe as the heavenly consort. On the other hand, Qing Kui's younger sister Ye Tan, who is known for her wits and cunningness, gets betrothed to the demon tribe as the demon consort, but their fates take a surprising turn when the two sisters switch spots. This twist not only sets the stage for two enchanting romances, but also triggers a conspiracy that reverberates across the four realms. Despite the rather overwhelming number of episodes, this Xianxia drama does not have many filler scenes, making sure you are never once bored in all 40 episodes. Cheng Xingxu is phenomenal in his depiction of five different personalities with his various reincarnations. Li Landi's acting is commendable, especially for her eye acting showing the many depths of her character even without words. This drama has beautiful CGI special effects, and is also a comedy, and the entire cast did an amazing job portraying their roles. Number 2, Lost You Forever Season 1, starring Yang Zi, Zhang Wanyi, Deng Wei, and Tan Jian Si. Lost You Forever Season 1 is a 39 episode drama based on a novel series, and it tells the love story of love and grief between a young maiden, her cousin, a noble, and a general. Yangzi plays a girl who gets kidnapped and tortured by a nine-tailed fox. She manages to escape and settles down in a village as a doctor, and she meets Deng Wei's character, who was injured, but she cures him, and their love blossoms. She later meets Tan Jian Si's character, a general who always blackmailed her to give him medicine, or else he'll take her life. She later gets found by her cousin, played by Zhang Wanyi, who takes her back home. This drama boasts a high budget, which is translated into its superb cast, magnificent set pieces, and beautiful costumes. The first season of Lost You Forever tells a compelling story of melancholic romance. Writer Wang Jing and Ya Qin have crafted a masterpiece, a beautiful story with a hint of darkness and sorrow. The cast does an even more splendid job with their depiction of the woebegone characters, bringing their desires and despairs to life. Their natural chemistry calls for a devoted audience, each character stealing the hearts of viewers with their alluring fates and yearning. The story is told in a pleasingly fast-paced manner, prioritizing the engrossment of viewers while ensuring that the plot flows effortlessly. Keeping the budget in mind, the special effects may raise feelings of disillusionment, but this minuscule flaw puts no damper over the quality or enjoyability of the drama. Number 1. The Blood of Youth Starring Li Hongyi, Liu Xueyi, and Ao Ruiping. The Blood of Youth is a 40 episode drama adapted from the novel Xiangyan Ge Xing by Zhao Munan that has also been adapted into a popular Donghua that tells the story of a group of spirited young individuals in their late teens and early 20s who embark on a journey into the martial arts world as they navigate the complexities of a Wuxia Xianxia realm. The Blood of Youth unfolds a tale of audience, growth, and the pursuit of one's destiny against the backdrop of an enchanting and perilous world. The Blood of Youth packs all the necessary traits of a good wuxia, from a compelling plot to spectacular fight scenes and equally impressive visual effects that make it stand out from its counterparts. The impressive directions of Yin Tao and Zhu Hai Jun deserve praise in this regard, with well choreographed and thrilling fight scenes. The exaggerations in scenes, which may sometimes prove to be galing, but when done right, such as in this case, make for a captivating watch. The characters are composite and amusing, 
with their banter making for a comedic dynamic and truly admirable friendship. Like every drama, even though the blood of the youth has its faults, the costumes are a bit underwhelming, and despite their stunning essence, the special effects are a bit redundant. These flaws, however, may be owed to the sparse budget. A flaw to the writing is that the second male lead also possesses more depth to his character as well as charisma, especially in combat, which can make it more difficult to fully immerse yourself into caring about the male lead. Regardless, this makes for an interesting watch that will leave you wanting more of this drama, even after 40 episodes. If you'd like to support me, consider giving this video a super thanks. It's the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below the video, or you can support me on Ko-Fi by contributing a dollar or more, and I'll leave the link to my Ko-Fi page in the description down below. Feel free to share your preferred Chinese historical costume Xianxiao fantasy dramas of 2023 in the comment section below. I'm curious to hear what your favorite picks are. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on one of the videos on the screen right now. That's all I have for you today. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video.